Hello, Titas! Welcome to episode one, season two of the Coffee Tita podcast. This is Esther, the Coffee Tita. So, first of all, a warm and a happy new year to all of us. The year 2022 was such a great year, and 2023 will be even greater. So, as we let the new year settle in, we reflect on the year that was and evaluate what we have accomplished what we want to continue, what we want to improve, and what we want to change. The Coffee Tea Tap podcast actually opened with the first episode way back in September, designed to get started on our reflection. So throughout the past three months, we have more or less thought of what we would want for this year. Personally, I like celebrating the new year very much. I like thinking about what possibilities the new year brings. I would also like to point out that this episode is the beginning of Season 2 of the Coffee Tita Podcast. Thank you so much, Titas. Let us continue to stay focused on our goals and plans for the future and pray that we reach our full potential. So the previous episode talked about excavating the real you, excavating the real us. For tonight, we will be talking about reordering our priorities. So there is a quote by Elizabeth Kubler Ross. She said, learn to get in touch with the silence within yourself and know that everything in this life has a purpose. Most women I know have only one conscious priority, making it through the day. This is a direct result of having been torn in between thousand different directions in any one 24-hour period for decades. It's very understandable because of the many roles that we play and because of the many expectations we set on ourselves. But acknowledging, recognizing, and reordering our priorities so that they can give purpose to our days is a deeply personal task that we all need to do if we are to learn how to live by our own lives. A priority is anything that is important to you. Providing for your children's education by starting a systematic plan of saving could be a priority. So could increasing your health and vitality through diet and exercise. Achieving financial security is a priority for many of us as is nurturing a family and sustaining a loving, happy marriage. But priorities are not written in granite. They need to be flexible and change as we do. I find it helpful to think of priorities as the wooden frame upon which we stretch the canvas of our days so that we may apply color and form to the work of art we are creating without the entire painting collapsing in the middle. It takes peace of mind and clarity to recognize and reorder meaningful personal priorities. Maybe that is why so many of us procrastinate. But the more our lives and attention spans are segmented by our children, our careers, our homes, our marriages, and our needs for personal expression, the more we need to identify what is truly important in our lives. Many of us assume that we can continue to get along just by winging it or surviving through the day indefinitely. We can't. We need an antidote for the hurried and harried lives that threaten to tear us apart. Follow the advice of Anne Morrow Lindbergh and make carving out a small portion of each day for yourself a personal priority. Quiet time alone, contemplation, prayer, music, a centering line of thought or reading, of study or work. It can be physical or intellectual or artistic, any creative life proceeding from oneself. It need not be an enormous project or a great work, but it should be something of one's own. Arranging a bowl of flowers in the morning can give a sense of quiet in a crowded day. What matters is that 
one be for a time inwardly attentive. Today, make getting in touch with the silence within yourself your first priority. As you do, you will be amazed at how everything else seems to find its own order. <laughs>